Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today So today I'm gonna be kind of making like a weird video kind of like progression But just in this episode on one thing that I want to knock out of the way Eventually, I'm gonna be going for collection log items, right? But one thing I've always always wanted on this game was a gnome scarf and if you look at the price of them they're about a million gp if you were to just buy one on a main account but i always thought can i get one on an iron man account so today we're gonna actually try go ahead and do that so if you look at mini games it's actually called the gnome restaurant and this is the item we are going for right here this gnome scarf all it really does is is a cosmetic item that's a scarf it's always just been an og item that i've wanted and especially getting it on an iron man would be pretty cool we can knock that collection sl uh, slot out so my understanding of it is you have to complete i think it's like 30 to 40 of these random deliveries then you get a token or something like that where you can go ahead and pretty much choose the task that you want so what we're gonna go ahead and do today is just that and we're going to knock out the deliveries get the tasks we want and then hopefully get this gnome scarf i'm going into this pretty much blind we're gonna bring a million gp and then we have this uh this little plugin right here called gnome restaurant i'm not even sure if this is gonna help us it's in the plugin hub it looks like it just shows stuff which is you know cool and stuff like that but uh yeah other than that we're gonna go into it pretty blindly and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this Okay, so I bought like one of these, like each one of these things that I think we're gonna need in order to make the ingredients. Okay, so let's just start off by talking. I'm not even sure who it is. I'm assuming it's maybe this one. So talk to and just see what happens. I'm ready to take an order now. Um, could you remind me how this game works? The edge of the world. I don't fucking know, man. Okay, so it's pretty easy, honestly. You get a delivery, basically. I'll show you the next one, but you get a delivery, um, and then it tells you exactly how to make it with this room light plugin. As you can see, we're on the last step right now, and you basically just deliver the the actual order. So it's like doing like uh, Uber Eats or something like that, but you make the food as well. So you pretty much just go up to this guy, and I will talk to him now and that is it so as you can see that should be the end of it I, I don't know where we track our points or whatever but well i'll see let's just go back to here very it's very helpful if you have this royal seed pod obviously but um that's dry or monkey madness too if you want to go ahead and get that so let's just see if um there's a way we can like track our points or something like that but we got three uncut rubies from that so nothing crazy so if i just talk to him can i like see Okay, I guess I'll get another hard job. Okay, so I'll show you basically what you would go ahead and do. So, okay, so let's check. So this one, you're going to need to make a, you're going to need two pineapples, a lemon, and an orange. So that's like the first things that you want to go ahead and get. And you can just buy them from these guys right here. So that was two pineapples, one lemon, one orange, right? And then now what we have to do, I guess you mix this. Oh shit, which one are we making? So we are making a pineapple punch. And we're delivering it to the same guy, which is kind of funny. So we are making a pineapple punch and then create. And now we're going to need a cocktail glass and lime chunks. So pretty much what you can go ahead and do is trade this guy again and get a lime. A lime. And then what else did we need? A cocktail glass, right? Very fairly simple. Okay, cocktail glasses are actually over here. So we just have to run to the other side of the bar here. <laughs> um, I would like to know if we can track how many points we can get and stuff like that, because that would be pretty helpful. But um, yeah, so cocktail glasses just spawn like here, so we can grab a free cocktail glass. And then we're going to need a knife, man. Jesus. And keep in mind, these are timed too. So I'm going to need a knife in order to go ahead and cut these into the chunks. Maybe I should just keep a knife on me because it looks like we're going to need some, some some of the stuff for the next steps as well. I'm assuming it's this one, right? Lime chunks. Okay, and then we need pineapple chunks and orange slices. Okay, so it looks like all this stuff is actually complete now. So I'm assuming we can just do that. Okay, so now this one looks like it's ready. That one only had three steps. So now we have to deliver it to the same guy, I believe, that we are just at. So in order for me to get there, it's easy if you just have like a construction cape or an easy way to get to your house. 
So for me, it's just, you know, use my house, go to Catherine B. I can even drink from my stamina pool. So it's obviously better to do this when you have a higher level account. If you're lower level, it might be a little difficult to get around the game. But later on, when you can make the profitable items, this can be good. So you can waste money on teleports and stuff like that. But especially as being a higher level player and maybe already has all these teleports and stuff like that unlocked, this can be awesome. It's kind of funny that I got this step back to back and I'm pretty sure this guy has the drop rate of a scarf. I'm pretty sure, but let's just check it out. Um, mm -mm. So pretty much what you want to do, right, is get this token that will let you choose your deliveries and then basically just keep picking this guy or another guy and stuff like that back and back to back. Oh my god, we got the freaking gnome goggles already, man let's go okay so this definitely works <laughs> wait let me check the price of these are these like they're probably like 10k but okay 18k it's still unique nonetheless especially for an iron man account um but yeah the ones you're actually really looking for is like the scarf like i was saying and even the other ones you can get like the teleports i'll show you they're very expensive um so what would this be called again the mini games uh the gnome restaurant mini games so yeah we have the one now so these grand seed pods are like royal seed pods but before you have the quest but they're very very expensive so i think you get a drop of five and they're like a million gp the, the gnome scarf is like a million gp and then this is a mint cake okay so i'm kind of getting used to this now i'm pretty sure this is going to be the fourth delivery that we do Okay, cool. I don't know what this gnome ball is. Is it worth anything? 16k. It's like a little cosmetic thing to hold. Um, so now if we return, we should be able to get our like little thing after getting 12 points. Each hard game is tw uh, 3 points and each easy game, I should say, delivery is 1 point. And after you get 10 points, it gives you 1 token. And after 10 tokens you can choose your deliveries. So we're like 10% of the way there, man, already. But I think I just talked to her maybe now. Yeah, okay, cool. So now we get this thing right here, this little thing, if we click check, um, you can use this token in order the gnome delivery. You currently, your current order, what is this even saying? You can use this token to order gnome food delivery. You can currently order one items, whatever that fucking means. But we, basically, I think you just need to cap this out. What if I click activate? What does that do? Oh, fuck. Did I just waste it? Fucking log out. Okay, so it looks like most of the deliveries, you can just buy all the stuff from the shop up there. But some of them, like this one, Toad Legs. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to, like, get a Swamp Toad or something like that and cut it. I'm not sure. But, um... Yeah, remove legs. Okay, perfect. So yeah, some of them you have to kind of slightly go out of your way to pretty much get. But now we can make this Toad Bretta. And yeah, okay, cool. And no, apparently you don't have to look at the wiki. So once you have step 5 of 5, you just click the mini map right here, right? And then it'll show you exactly where you need to deliver it. So basically like right here. So pretty much the easiest way to get here would be using an already cloak, I would assume. All right, so this is pr pretty easy mini game overall. Um, especially if you, like I said, you have all the places to travel already. It's fairly easy mini game. So if I check this now, we are currently at three item or like three points. You need ten to be able to choose your own deliveries. We've maybe been doing it for close to an hour now, I would say, which isn't terrible. I mean, so it's gonna take about three, three and a half hours, maybe four, four and a half hours to get the scarf, but three and a three and a half hours to actually finish this mini game off. You don't get anything really too good. I banked some gems that they gave me previously, and also they give you things like bird's nests, which I mean are cool. They definitely help out. Um, sometimes this thing, this one's the most annoying that I've seemed to found so far, where this guy can never be found, but uh each delivery doesn't take too long, um, but uh, you get a little bit of XP, like right there we got some toad flax and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's overall very easy if you have the teleports. I'm going to go ahead right now as well and show you like a pretty much a delivery fully. Alright, so yeah, you teleport here, go to the second floor, and then pretty much head up here. I guess without you having the royal seed pod, it would be pretty annoying getting back and forth, but you walk over to this guy and select yourself a hard 
uh, order and then basically let's see what this one is so we just need uh, one cheese one tomato and then one aqua, aqua leaf which you can just buy them all here so let's go to get a cheese an aqua leaf and what's the other thing a tomato so we'll buy all that shit right now and that will say steps to to cook the ingredients or yeah current step to cook the ingredients okay so we just have to click prepare here click this one click create perfect and then it will say uh step four is bake item so we have to bake it and then step five will be i guess adding the aqua leaves to it and that's pretty much it so at six of six is deliver the item so you click the mini map and you find out where this little like order is going so as you can see it's going into the tree gnome village so for me i can just simply use the grand teleport c just to save a few seconds of time here run to the spirit tree wherever it tells you to go you just use your house to teleport around whatever you gotta do but just for me uh it's just you bring your construction cape whatever you have um you know even if you just want to bring all the teleport tablets glories stuff like that you know fairy ring it just it's it's pretty easy honestly like um it's a lot easier than i was definitely expecting to do it does take a while though but uh as you can see that is a full delivery completed second gnome ball as well cool and then you just use this to go back at your next order it's fairly simple so yeah let's check this again still sitting at uh three oh we have four now let's go okay i'd say we're on like hour two and a half maybe close to hour three and if we check this little thing now we have currently eight tokens so we need two more which we're pretty much there i think we're actually at like 10 points and then eight points it's kind of a weird system like i said but we're getting decent loot some of them like you know like some rubies stuff like that snapdragons even we've also gotten a bunch of the birds uh nests as well i decided i can't even keep them all like all this stuff in my inventory because you know it's not like i it's not even like it's valued at that much but i just want to empty the inventory out to keep making all these random ingredients and then i even got like a tooth half key which is cool but uh yeah we're almost done the grind guys okay so i believe this is the last order yes maybe okay if we click check now we have the 10 tokens okay so now to actually get the gnome scarf it's one in 17 chance from either this guy or this guy this guy is the one that's located in the dual arena so fairly easy to get to and this guy's the one that's located underneath um, the fishing guild. So they're both fairly easy to get to. I'm just very curious to see how this works with picking orders now. So let's just give it a try. Okay, god damn it. I thought there'd be like a huge pop-up sort of thing where you could just choose which one you want to deliver to do. But you pretty much have to skip them like a slayer task basically until you get the one you want. So this guy is one that can give you the scarf. So we're going to go ahead and make this drink and hope for the best. One thing I don't really like about the plugin for this uh, thing is if you log out, it kind of deletes your progress. So I just had to literally Google how to make a fruit blast and I really hope this is the right drink. Because if it's not, then I don't know what the hell we're going to do. We're going to have to keep re-rolling until we get this gnome again. But please, this could this could actually be it. Uh, I'm not sure where this gnome is. Is that him right there? Okay, this could be a gnome scarf, man. Let's go, let's go. Instead, it was three opals let's go let's go man back to back let's go please give us a scarf let's go and a snape grass or what the fuck did i just say snapdragon now it took us like maybe five minutes to get the next order of this guy um so let's just go let's go please be a scarf buddy and jades could be the scarf Toad Flax. Oh, we got this guy again. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we got a diamond. Just as good, man. Gnome Scarf, Captain. Yeah. This is getting old now. I think we're on like hour four or five. Please, buddy. <laughs> ah. Another pair of the fucking goggles. Ah, buddy. Ah, please, 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 fuck you. Maybe a gnome scarf from you, my kind sir. Alright, captain, let's go. Here's your bread, buddy. And thank you for the gnome ball, thank you. I'm sorry, man, last time I swore at you, 
you can uh, maybe just give me a scarf and I'll forgive you. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling good about this one. Um, Let's just talk to the guy and get the scarf and get out of here. Okay, so I've literally made like 3 million GP on my alt while doing this so far. So this isn't something to do for profit, clearly. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I have to say. Let's go, man. Give me your scarf. No. Nope. Oh my god, finally. We got the gnome scarf. Jesus Christ, that was going to be the last game, to be completely honest, too, before it was going to be another day. Um, I recorded probably, you know, 15, 20 deliveries, but let's actually look at the actual, you know, collection log. We did 59 deliveries in order to get this, uh, oh, this gnome scarf, man, but it's done. It is <laughs> done. That was so stupid. Well, the gnome scarf has been completed. It's something uh, really cool to honestly have on the account. It doesn't really do anything, like I said. It's just kind of like a fashionscape item, and honestly, with my hair, it's kind of like bugged out, <laughs> as you can see. It's kind of not the best looking thing in the game but uh nonetheless it's such a cool item and just to have it on the iron man now is pretty freaking cool i'm probably gonna be wearing this whenever i'm scaling and stuff like that just because it's a kind of a unique and i wouldn't say prestigious but a pretty unique item to have nonetheless but uh yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching the the video today um it was kind of a different type of video and uh yeah if you guys went ahead and watched the home video comment gnome scarf down in the description in the comment section below jesus christ thank you guys and i will catch you in the next one see ya later